super guys. Come on in, but just hold it. Hold it. We've also got Tula just Hello. arriving. Hello. <laughs> Tula is one of our favorite customers, so she's she always wanted to be a star. So you can come right on in where we have the stars of Canadian ceramics. And Tula, who has been one of our clients now for the past, oh God, three Four years? years? Four years. Yeah. It's Seems like cool. longer. I mean, and everything here is Canadian. And sometimes I don't know, I think that Tula has learned more about everything that we show um, because we make a point of letting our clients know everything about about the artists, where they're from, because the reality is we are the largest contemporary Canadian ceramic gallery in the country with more Canadian ceramics on display than any gallery, public or private, in Canada. How many of these artists have you got so far? I think I have most of them. Which is over 150. Uh, Tula spent it's a, a lot of the past four yeah. years collecting. A very good learning curve for me when I buy art from the artist. I uh, study my books that I got from Jonathan, so I'm learning. I know where they come from and all the background and what they do. Very interesting. And so now we've got artists from Dean Mullavy from North Hadley. Dean is 83 years old, one of the oldest, uh, if not the oldest, um, still working ceramic artists in Canada. Underneath the dome, We've got the little bird there by Judy Blake, who does really a lot larger pieces as well. But we also like to have pieces for everyone's pocketbook. We have work ranging from $22 for a little vase by Meg Burgess, Burgess. one of our favorite, or actually one of your favorite artists. Yes, I how have met her. Yes. How many pieces do you have of hers now? Uh, maybe 40. Uh, 40 pieces, obviously good. Uh, dinner set, the entire dinner set. Meg studied under two of the leading artists of the uh, 20th century, uh, Hans Koper and uh, Lucy Reed from England. But all over the place, you see Ron Roy, another one of our uh, septuagenarian artists. Ron was here the other day dropping off work for Matter of Clay 3, which will be opening um, in August, actually August 4th, where there are people and artists coming from all over Canada. And then you get something for everyone, Elaine Brewer-White, The Peculiars. And, and uh, Elaine also does work that is um, not only spectacular, but also works to commission. Um, one of our rare London artists, Bernadette, Bernadette Pratt, Pratt, over there. You've got Bernadette as well. Four or five pieces, yeah. 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 You passed by Pat Weber. Oh, Pat Weber. Oh, Pat she Weber. is a delightful artist. <coughs> yeah. I have these little fun frogs, and uh, actually, quite often they're frogs. Well, yeah, lots of frogs. We've got our frogs in a blanket. Mira yeah. Matheson. Mira will be here in August. Actually, a lot of the artists that we represent will be here this coming August. Um, here's more of, uh, of Pat Weber's work from her little her dogs and frogs and frogs in a blanket. Uh, there's an incredible uh, chess set that Pat has done which will be there uh, in August on display. And let's not forget Goye Beno from Quebec. And here we have their terrine pea soup. This was designed in 1979 and they have reintroduced it specifically for us and we've already sold over 30 of the 40 that will be available. Bill Boyd from BC. Uh, in here, we've got some of Canada's leading silver artists. Yeah. London Denise artist Laundry. Gabe Cocos, graduate of Beale. Um, <laughs> and then there we have the um, uh, Michael Massey. Michael has just been elected Royal Canadian Academy. And of course, the gallery goes on and on. It goes down here and it goes into here if you want to just swing so around the much. corner. And in here, oh, Ida Le Gros Wise, Quebec. Right now, the gallery is filled in chock-a-block because we're getting ready for our uh, third annual Matter of Clay show held every five years in London. Matter of Clay 3 this year will be representing over uh, 100 of Canada's top ceramic artists. And here we've got a wonderful scene of London by Jamie Jardine. We've been showing Jamie now for 
over 10 years, sold over a thousand of his paintings. And as we keep on moving in, Harlan House, one of Canada's masters of, of, um, of Celadon. Um, London's own James Kirkpatrick, uh, also known as Thesis, an, an aspiring musician who performs all over the world. And then, well, for the first uh, paintings I started to buy was And now you've got about 12 or 13 of those? Yeah, 12 or 13. What do you think bulk buying in here? <laughs> and then around here we've got, again, uh, Sean McPherson, London artist. And here we've got all kinds. Everything is Canadian. Everything is original. There is nothing like this in Canada. Actually, according to our American clients, there is nothing like this in North America. So when you're looking to super guide people into London, super guide them into here and they will be in for a treat. Thank you.